it's beginning to look a lot like Timu. Well, you know, that could be because it is Timu Tuesday. And it's also, you know what else it is? It is Vlogmas day number five. I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I'm always so excited to see you guys. I'm excited to be dressing up again. It just makes the season so much fun. So anyway, this is going to be Vlogmas number five and it's also Timu Tuesday. So we got a little Timu haul to do and because I don't want to run into so long, I've only got one thing to try on. I've already got one outfit on and this will count for your votes if you wanted to vote this for the ugliest sweater of the season. Alrighty, so let's kind of just start getting into this, right? So I've got this hat on that isn't part of the costume, but it's part of another one that I haven't worn yet. It just felt like it needed a scarf. So I've got this little old scarf on. I've got these earrings here from Timu that have the plaid and the snowman. I've got some Timu rings right here. I've got my Christmas one right there and then just a little red bling. And we have got a little snowman dress on. So this goes just about to my knee. Let me move that. So you can see he's got his big eyes. He's got a carrot nose. He's got like an Amazon type smile. He's got his own little gingham red buffalo plaid scarf. We've got um, black. Maybe he's wearing a tuxedo or something. He's got some buttons. And if I can get this up high enough, it's got white pockets on both sides. And again, it goes right down to my knee. And sleeves are a little long, but, you know, that's fine because when it's cold, I'm going to go like this anyway. Alrighty, so that's this outfit from Timu, and this was $9.39. Alrighty, so before I get any farther, I wanted to give a little shout out. I got my first Christmas card of the season, and I got it from Hanging Out with Kim. So I just got this little Merry Christmas Santa sticker in the back. So thank you so much, Kim. She is such an awesome, awesome lady. And so we've got this Christmas dove. Joy to the world. And may your heart be filled with peace, joy, and hope this Christmas season. Nancy, I hope you're doing well. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Kim. So thank you so much, Kim. First card of the season. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so let's do our Advent things first, shall we? So the coffee that I'm going to have tomorrow for my Crazy Cups is Holiday Spice. I've got my milk chocolate, my thick, chunky milk chocolate here from Just Janet from the Nutcracker Chocolate Advent Calendar. And from my Waka, my shortbread, these are really, really good. I wouldn't mind getting these all year round, but it's a nice thick little wafer cookie. Really, really good. I think I'm going to look for this again next year. That was really fun. And I think I left where did I put my wine? The wine glass that I'm using is this one with my name on it. And it's got the cute little Christmas trees. And that was from Snap Elf. And I'll have her link below. It's a nice little Etsy shop that she has. The wine that I have is a white wine. And I already pre-opened it, so you wouldn't have to see me struggle. But it is a Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Or Blanc. Focus, please. I'm just going to pour a little bit in my glass. So I hope everyone's Tuesday is going great. These days it is going by so, so fast. So it's a nice, like a light kind of gold straw color. It doesn't really coat my glass, so it doesn't tell me that it's got a strong alcohol content. So let's see what we can sniff. It's nice and citrusy, so I'm getting something tart back here. Could be grapefruit, could be like a lemon or a lime, but tartness, but citrusy. Maybe almost like apple, maybe some pear in here. 
Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's not that dry, but you can feel a little sensation of the dryness right in here from the tannins. It is so full of fruit, and just when it starts to get back here, the taste buds just kind of go crazy. The acidity kicks in. Your mouth starts to water. Flavors really come alive. I think because it's got that kind of sweetness to it, but it's also on the dry side, it's be a good sipping wine. Um, I think whether you're in summer or fall or winter, I think it's it's a nice little sipping wine. So cheers, everyone. going to have one more sip, and then we'll get into our glossy box. Cheers. And I have no idea why my finger goes up like that. That's that's embarrassing. I don't know. Alrighty, very good. Alright, let's put that down and hope I don't knock it over. We've got glossy box number five. And we have got a full-sized blush in here. And it's Revolution. And it says it's a matte blush. It is almost kind of like a shocking pink. I know, what do you think? Do you think I can pull off something this bright pink? Anyway, it looks like a nice full size. It is taped right here, so I'll leave that tape. Let's see if it tells us the name on the back. So we've got Revolution. This just isn't Dare. So Dare is the color. Do I dare to wear something in this pink? You guys let me know what you think about this color. It is really, really pretty, though. It just kind of looks kind of young and fun. Well, I'm not young, but it can be fun, right? Dressing up is fun, right? Alrighty, so now let's get into our Timu things. I've only got a few things to show you, but I always say that, but it always seems to run into some extra time. So I saw somebody else um, do this. So I've got these three here left in the package. And the one that I took out to show you is this pink one. And you know how sometimes you get the bread and it, it's got like that plastic little thing that you put back on, not so much like a twisty tie because those are easy enough to do, but you got that little clip and you take your bread out or your rolls out and then you sort of roll it up again and you try to get it nice and tight and I can never get that little doohickey to go back on. But they say this, is, this will help. So you just kind of squeeze it together put the bag in here and close it and you've got a nice tight seal. I'm looking forward to using these and so it was a set of four. They were $1.43. Um, I did get two refunds on that that totaled 33 cents. So my final price was $1.10. So that's not bad. Try to keep my bread fresh. I don't buy a lot of bread, but every now and then I'm just in the mood or I'll get the Hawaiian rolls to make my little quick sandwiches, like a tuna sal salad sandwich or a little leftover turkey or chicken sandwich. Yeah, so they're good. So the next thing I got, and I do happen to have a pink winter coat, is I, these pink little gloves kept coming up. And so I said, you know what, let's get it. So they were $2.47, so it's like a nice, soft, kind of like a brush, kind of velvety suede. The inside... Can you see how fluffy these are inside? And they are just going to feel, oh, wrong hand. They are just gonna feel so nice going on. And like I said, I do have a pink winter coat. They go on like this, so this is just gonna be nice and warm. It feels so, so nice. So these were $2.47. I did get a 38 cents price reduction. So my final price was $2.09. So I thought that was pretty good, and I love the color. So next, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I got those things that go on, you know, the refrigerator that you open like this so you don't get your fingerprints and the crap all over that you think you wash your hands, but crap gets on the refrigerator handles. So I got ones that had, it was purple and had a little bit of white on the top and then some grapes because, you know, I like wine. So then I got those Christmas rugs that are the red and gold, and I thought, you know what, let's change them out. Let's be festive. So we've got these to put on. So it's supposed to be, a, I don't know why it's a four-piece set, but it's supposed to be like two that would go on the door handles for those, you know, the French door refrigerator, and then one's supposed to go sideways. So you would think it would be a three-piece three, uh, three set, but maybe they do that. Maybe some people have an extra wide one. So anyway, these are really, really pretty. They're kind of like velvety. We've got the 
faux fur on top. We got the gold sparkles in here, so I just thought it would be really pretty. These were $6.48 for the set of four. Um, I got a refund of $1.06, so my final price was $5.42. All right, so you know I've been getting into some coloring, and I wanted to get into doing some, some of the markers that some people use because the colors just are so vibrant. They just look, look like they're coming off the page. So I tried doing a couple of their hashtag color and create with us with the markers. I did not have luck at all. I made a mess. And so, you know, I thought I might put them away and get, go back to the colored pencils for a while. And then I thought, you know, let's take this up a notch. All righty. So I got some gel markers. I know that I couldn't decide which one, so I got two of these. So this one is a 12-piece set. This one, I think it's upside down. This one is an eight-piece set. So this eight, and again, it's sparkling gel markers. Alrighty. So this one was four dollars and forty-eight cents. I did get a ninety-five cent price reduction on that, so that brought it down to three dollars and fifty-three cents. This uh, twelve-piece set was eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. I did get 88 cents off it, so my final price was $8.10. And I actually did use a couple of these ones in my hashtag color and create with us that posted yesterday, and I did not make a mess. I know. I didn't make a mess. I was so excited about that. Alrighty, so next, you know, a couple of weeks ago, too, I was showing some shirts, and I said it would really be nice because they were like lower like this, and it's you know, it's cold here, and I thought, you know, do they still make Dickies? So I went on Amazon, and they did, but they were like, some of them were like $12 each, $24 each, and I said, you know, let me check out Timu, $2.47. So I got three to try. So I've got this white one, and again, it's just the Dickies, so it's just going to be like right here, just to kind of give you that little extra layer, a little break from the wind. So I got this white one for $2.47. This pink one. $2.47 and the black one $2.47 they each had a price reduction of 58 cents each so my final price for each of these was $1.79 each so I thought that was pretty cool alrighty so now just some into some fun things if I can find where I buried them sorry about that I buried them under my gloves and the uh, refrigerator things so I got these two sponges that I thought were really, really cute. So I've got this little Christmas tree right here. And then this little Santa Claus. And I think I got some hair on them. The back of it is like this hard, harder, scrungy material. So, you know, if you're baked on egg or something that you need to get off your plates and you didn't soak it long enough. So those will be really good. They were 84 cents each. Um, I did get a price reduction of 25 cents each. So my final price was 59 cents each and I just thought they would be fun to have out during the Christmas season. Alrighty so we've got two things to go. One I'm going to try on and uh, next I got this little headband because I like doing little headband fun things. So this has got the, it's on a headband right here so it's easy enough to put on. You don't have to worry about clips or anything like this. We've got this tinsel garland like right in here that's red and green so it's nice and sparkly. Then we've got like the holly leaves uh, here that are both red and green. And then we've got some bright bulbs here. So we've got gold and silver and red. So I just thought that would be really fun to wear. This was $2.08. I did get a price reduction of 69 cents, so my final price was $1.39. Now, this ex next dress probably would be a really good contender for the ugly sweater contest, and I did that again to my bang. But anyway, so it kind of reminds me of, and I, I know a lot of you probably don't even remember when Atari came out and things like that, but those kind of figures uh, or Lego or something. So it's a maxi dress. This was $13.80, and they're calling it just a Christmas graph print dress. It's got a crew neck here. So we've got Santa Claus. We've got some trees here. We've got polka dots. We've got ho, ho, ho. We've got some hearts here and presents and snowflakes. And it looks like maybe an empire waist or maybe just above your natural waistline. Long sleeves. And again, so it is a full maxi dress, and it does have pockets 
on the side. So anyway, let's uh, go check this bad boy out and try it on. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so I've got the dress on. And again, it's a nice maxi dress. It's a nice weight. So it's going to be something that's going to last you for years. Sorry about that. Maybe it's like the ugly ties. Sometimes say things just last forever, right? Alrighty, except the things that you really love. And then, of course, we've got this headband on right here. We've got the green and red, the tinsel, and the holly berries, and the Christmas balls right here. I left the same rings on. I left the same earrings on. I did put this poinsettia necklace on that I got from Belk maybe two, maybe three years ago. And again, the dress, it just kind of reminds me of like the old Atari games or like Lego, just kind of putting things together. But it is a kind of fun little Christmassy design. We've got the ho, ho, ho in here and snowflakes and Christmas trees and presents and hearts. It's an elasticized waist. It goes right above your natural waist. We've got some pockets in here and it's nice and roomy. I don't know if I could have sized down or not, but anyway, it's just a fun little dress to wear around the house. Just, uh, you know, I like maxi dresses in the summer, and I don't always think about wearing them in the winter, but this will be good. Even over my fleece-lined leggings will be really nice. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. You guys are amazing, and I appreciate you so much. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Can't wait to see you in our next video for Vlogmas number six. Love you guys, and we will see you in the next video.